it was it was for that period it was like the plague destroying everything in its path till the time they rise again and again start destroying france they will have policies which say okay no problem we'll give you citizenship and no problem even if you lied and even if your papers are fake it does not matter it's all right if you have cheated it's all right if you have fake documents it's all right if you have counterfeited everything it doesn't matter welcome to canada jai hind friends i'm major goravari and you watching the chanakya dialogues english friends dick shoof has been sworn in as the dutch prime minister he is a former spy chief of his country and he is heading a broad right wing coalition and he has been tasked he has been tasked as prime minister to implement the strictest ever anti immigration policy in the history of his country this is very important this is something that i've been saying for a very long time i've been saying this for over a year now and you can find many videos on the chanakya dialogues hindi english majorly right you will find so many videos in which i have said that this was going to happen and it's happened but i only thought that it might take 3 4 5 years i'm surprised that it's happened in a year i did not anticipate that it will happen so soon now there is an uprising in europe and this is not a physical uprising this is an uprising of anger and there is a lot of anger amongst the citizens of europe the original citizens of europe who feel that the immigrants who come illegally into their country they have destroyed the culture they have destroyed the economy there is rising crime there is rape there is gender inequality and the refugees who come from outside the illegal immigrants who come from outside they lie they cheat they steal they make false papers they make fake papers they try to get citizenship of that country i'm not saying everybody is doing it i'm not saying everybody is doing it but coming illegally into a country itself is a crime this is what i feel you want to go to the uk and become a citizen well there is the right way to do it and if they feel that you're going to add on to the society in uk they'll take you if you fulfill all their criteria but if you don't they'll reject you and that is the way it should be uh, now i'm i'm going to tell you what this is about this is very interesting news the 67 year old dick shoof is a former head of the dutch intelligence service shoof was appointed to lead a broad right wing coalition government which includes gert wilders freedom party the farmers party the liberal conservative vvd and the new anti corruption party nsc the appointment of shoof as the new dutch pm reflects a broader trend of the rise of far right and populist parties in several european countries and this is something that i had predicted a year back as i said i i didn't know that it was going to happen so soon you know when france burnt last year i was shocked thousands upon thousands of migrants none of them involved in an honest day's work all living on state welfare they come out they burn france to the ground hundreds of buildings they've burnt thousands of automobiles they've entered homes stolen beaten people ransacked they burnt churches they burnt museums they burnt everything it was it was for that period it was like the plague destroying everything in its path and then everything goes silent till the time they rise again and again start destroying france ladies and gentlemen i think uh, the french president is a great friend of india but i don't know how far successful his policies have been as far as france is concerned you see macron india gets along very well with macron but for the good of france it is important that a right wing party a far right party comes into power a party that says that we are going to identify every illegal immigrant and throw him out there is no other way for france to survive there is no other way for europe to survive if you think that the netherlands is going to be able to survive no these people will finish illegal immigration will finish european countries because you see look at what the uk is facing okay uk is voting overwhelmingly liberal why that is what happens when you open your doors and have random pakistanis and palestinians and yemenis and sudanis and 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 uh, people from you know so many other countries coming in all these radicals coming in 
That is what will happen because they can play the liberals. It's easy to play the liberals because liberals want votes from them. And the liberals will get policies in place, policies that benefit illegal immigration, not benefit the UK. That is what the liberals are going to do. They will have policies which say, okay, no problem, we'll give you citizenship and no problem even if you lied and even if your papers are fake, it does not matter. Very recently, I did a video in which I gave an example of Hardeep Singh Nijjar. You remember Hardeep Singh Nijjar? The guy Justin Trudeau claims that India killed. He, he lied. He had a fake passport. He entered Canada on a fake passport. His name, obviously, that we know now is Hardeep Singh Nijjar. He shaved his beard. He cut off his head. He discarded the turban. And he said, my name is Ravi Sharma. And on the fake name of Ravi Sharma, he entered. And then they did nothing. They said, okay, it's, it's all right if you have lied to us. It's all right if you have cheated. It's all right if you have fake documents. It's all right if you have counterfeited everything. It doesn't matter. Welcome to Canada. Now, these very people will start crying because when you let in criminals into your country, you're not, you're not being a person who respects human rights. You're not being a person who... In fact, you're a person who disrespects his own country. And this is exactly what has happened in the UK. You've allowed the riffraff to come into the UK. The UK requires cleansing at a major level. It requires housekeeping. The UK requires housekeeping. Today, I'm not going to take the name of those individuals. But I want to tell all these so-called liberals in the UK, and I'm not referring to the Liberal Party. I'm referring to those people in the United Kingdom who say that... Uh, a heart bleeds for immigrants and come and settle down and take over and everything. You have sold the United Kingdom down the drain. And the far right activists of UK, they are the true patriots and they are going to save the UK. Otherwise, UK is done. The UK is done forever. If the far right does not come to power in the UK, the UK is done. The Pakistanis will take over. The Yemenis, the Sudanese, the Syrians, the Palestinians, the Lebanese, the Moroccans, they will take over your country and you will have no country to call your own. You will be a minority in your own country and they will force you to behave in a certain manner. You love your pint, it's going to go away. You love your culture, it's going to go away. You're going to be scared to come out of your homes. And this is not fear-mongering. You've seen that in France. So I'm not saying things without a reason. You've seen that in France. You've seen that one cop shoots a young man. I don't know the basis of that shooting. But even if it is wrong, even if the cops made an absolute mistake, and even if the cops, I'm saying, I'll go to the extent of saying, even if the cops shot that man deliberately, that Moroccan uh, immigrant, there are courts. But the problem with the Europeans is that they do not realize that the place from where these people come, the courts are defunct. It's only the crowd. It's only the crowd. It's those crazy Malvis and Maulanas. They rule. They'll go to the loudspeaker in a mosque and say, gather, 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 and everybody will gather in 10,000 people and let's go for war. That is how it happens. You expect people to come from dysfunctional countries into your country and suddenly on being offered asylum in the UK, they'll all become gentlemen. They'll all become law-abiding. How, how does that work? If you want people, again I'm saying, let's talk about Muslims who are immigrants. I have never seen a person from Saudi Arabia indulging in writing. Never heard of somebody from the UAE indulging in writing. I've never heard of somebody from Brunei indulging in writing. Have you ever heard of Indonesians going crazy and bombing people? They, they, might, they might have their own problems. The Malaysians are uh, Muslims, mostly. Mostly. They're pretty peaceful. The Indonesians are peaceful. The Saudis are peaceful. I mean, the UAE, peaceful. Turkey has a crazy president, but all, for all practical purposes, Turkey is pretty peaceful now. It was crazy earlier, but now for, for decades, while, while it might be interfering in one or two other countries, you know, but generally, you will not hear of Turkey sending terrorists to other countries. 
Turkey does not do that. It might have proxies. I'm not. I'm not denying proxies, but I'm saying it does not do anything directly. But when immigrants combine their strength with the far left, then they take over campuses in the U.S. They take over campuses in Europe, and they slowly start target. I want to ask the far right in Europe now. Now that you are in power in many other countries in in Europe, you know. this is your time to stand up for the jews because and i'm not talking about fascists here okay fascists are as bad as jihadis maybe even worse i'm talking about the right wing parties it is your duty to protect the jews and the jews are in danger from palestine loving riff raff it is your duty to protect them it is your duty to continue the european way of life now who are the major leaders georgia meloni brothers of italy in 2022 georgia meloni comes to power first female prime minister of italy poland the conservative eurosceptic law and justice party has been in power in poland since 2015 sweden the sweden democrats are right wing populist party became the largest party in the swedish parliament so across europe the far right is on the march and i had predicted this almost a year back the far right is on the march and ladies and gentlemen i hope fascism does not come to power in europe because that will be hell that will just be like europe jumping from the frying pan into the fire fascists are far worse than radical islamists they, they are absolutely crazy but you require strong right wing governments in europe because it is strong right wing governments who can counter illegal immigration and who can counter radical islamists thank you very much ladies and gentlemen for watching this video and if you like this video press the like button subscribe to our channel don't forget to press the bell icon jai hind vande mataram bharat mata ki jai